Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can take a Postman collection and then import it into Redline and run it as a load test. Postman, as many of us know, is a popular tool for building and testing and delivering APIs. And within Postman, collections are used to allow you to bundle many different types of requests into one group. Collections are a great way to organize the various requests so that they can mirror your API. You can, you know, play with a bunch of different, you know, post, get, all that type of great stuff in here. So to get started, we um, are going to be using the sample collection that comes with Postman upon uh, downloading it. And we're just going to go up right here to the three dots and hit export. Now it's going to prompt you to select collection V1 or V2. This doesn't matter, so we're going to do V2 here. And we'll hit export. And now it's going to prompt us to save it into our directory of choice. So I'll go ahead and save it to the desktop. Now that we've exported our Postman collection, we can move on to the next step, which involves cloning an example project to our local environment. I'll provide the links to this down below, but we can navigate over to our blog or GitHub page to find this. So basically, we're just going to want to copy this project right here. So we'll hit clone or download, we'll copy the link, and then in our terminal, We'll do git clone, and then it should add the project, and then we'll quickly run cd plugin dash postman. That'll take us in, and we're good. Now that we have that directory added to our local machine, we're going to want to go ahead and navigate to it. So it usually installs on your main drive, just your home folder right here. So as you can see, plugin dash postman. I'll open that up and it looks like everything installed correctly. So now here's where we can enter our own custom parameters in, in this custom test.js. So again, um, you can see this on our blog, but it'll have all the different parameters and things that you can enter into this custom test. Um, it involves all, all around the Newman stuff right here. But anyway, what we want to do is now move our exported collection into this directory right here. But first we have to rename it so it replaces this file right here. So I'll just go ahead and rename that really quick. Get rid of the .json. And then we'll copy this over. It'll ask to replace this. We'll hit replace and then we're good. Now that we moved our extracted Postman collection into our new directory that we've created and that we've edited our custom test.js file, we can now begin to get ready to run our test on Redline. But first we need to package this as a tar file. So again, this information can be found in our blog and our GitHub page, but we are going to run this command in our terminal. And it's gone ahead and packaged that for us. So we can verify this by going back to the directory. And there we go. You'll see the postman.tar file. Now that we've created our postman.tar file, we can finally run on Redline. So we're going to want to go ahead and log into our Redline account. And once we're logged in, we need to first install the Node Version Manager plugin. So this is pretty easy to do. Just go to Account, Your Plugins. And then I'll scroll on down to see the Node Version Manager plugin. And I'll hit that little plus, verify that it's installed, and then we're good. Now we're going to want to go ahead and hit start a new test. And we want to do a custom test. So here we're going to upload our postman.tar file that we created. So we're going to want to navigate to the directory and get that .tar file and open. And now we want to configure our advanced custom test options down here. So for load agent language, we want Node.js. We want to select the plugin to make sure it'll be used for this load test. And then now for selecting the Node version, we want 6. So once that's in order, we can now then you know, play with a bunch of other parameters for this test. We can change the number of users. We can, you know, how many servers do we want? Where do we want to have the servers? what size, you know, all that great stuff. I'm just going to keep this one pretty small for 
the purposes of this test. So we'll run it on Virginia and M3 Medium. And once we just double check everything, it looks okay. We'll name our test. And we'll hit start test. Now it looks like our test is completed and we can view our results. So again, I, I ran a pretty simple basic test. So um, the output files and whatnot and overview metrics and request metrics may look a little funky, but as you'll see, all the data is here, it even has our errors and everything. If we look, it um, only cost us 10 cents for the entire test. Uh, and then we can do a bunch of other features uh, like cloning the test, making a Jen Jenkins pipeline, and much more. So that's pretty much how you run a Postman collection as a load test on Redline. Hope you guys found this video helpful and see you in the next one.